Hi guys, this video we're looking at the Freddy Krueger, A Nightmare on Elm Street Nintendo game version of Freddy. <laughs> um, now I've had this for a little while, I'll be honest with you, I just couldn't really be bothered to look at him, <laughs> to be honest. Um, and it is a bit bit annoying that you know I've had these I've had quite a lot of figures sitting around for the last few months to be honest and I just didn't have nothing new to say or no, I just I just feel that NECA have kind of copped out over the last few releases on things to be honest and this guy's just sat in his packet for a while and I just couldn't bring myself to say anything about it to be honest um, as much as I love the Freddy stuff um, if they bring out other Freddies, I'll get them. I just, I just do not like this Nintendo line of figures they're doing. Um, okay, the Predator. Yes, I will buy that. Reluctantly, just because it'll add to my Predator collection. The Robocop, definitely not buying. Just, just not interested in it. I just, just don't like these, to be honest. Um, and I know there's another three they're going to announce and unless they're absolutely amazing that blow my socks off I can't see me buying them either to be honest um, so yeah NECA you're gonna to have to pull out the stops for the next ones I'm sorry but I'm just get a bit fed up with this um, and this to be honest is is absolutely dredging the barrel if you ask me of trying to regurgitate a figure out there to be honest, I know you got away with it with the Jason, but that was a Comic Con exclusive. Just, just to, just to put this one out there for us is just a bit of a cop out, if you ask me. Um, and, I, and, I, and I don't like doing these videos just being so negative, but uh, it's just nothing's, nothing's coming out that is making me, wow. I'm sorry, you know, I know you've got all the new stuff coming out and I'll be excited about that. But for the last two releases, I'm sorry Necker, you're just a bit boring. Um, but anyway, let's have a little look at this packaging. As Same with the Jason one. Um, it's got that old Nintendo box look to it. Um, looks like it's damaged and stuff. It's got ages 17 and up. Official Necker seal of quality, which obviously used to be the, the or is the NES seal of quality. Um, and on the back we have something frightening has been happening on Elm Street lately it seems with each waking day another gruesome discovery was made another neighbourhood teen has mysteriously passed away in the dark stillness of the night everyone says it's natural causes but it seems if something or someone has been picking them off one by one in their sleep it's a horrible nightmare come true and this nightmare has a name Freddy Krueger um, it's up to you and your remaining friends to search Elm Street for his bones which have been scattered about then collect and burn them in the high school furnace. If you can stay awake long enough you might be able to end Freddy's reign of terror for good. You'd better hurry though it's getting late and you can feel your eyelids getting heavier and heavier. Um, uh, I never played the game, I'll be honest with you. I was never really in Nintendo, it was more PlayStation to be honest. Um, but from what I've seen, I haven't missed out on anything to be honest. It's a bad game, and quite what this you know, if I did ever play, I think if I ever played the game when I was younger, <laughs> I wouldn't be getting too excited about this figure to be honest. But apparently, it's selling well, and fair enough on NECA. I take you, I always say, I don't, you know, fair enough, they're out to make money, and that's what they're doing. Um, comes with a removable hat, razor glove and hideous face. Well, A I'd expect that and A B I'd expect that. Removable hat? Really? Okay. Um, it's of course got the the cover opens and it says so the evil is purged, fire purifies all, the bones are ashes, soon to be dust, Freddy is dead and the nightmare is ended. Or was it? And of course you've got the game screen there your lives and health and things up there so you know exactly in the same vein of the the Jason box pretty cool and you know the box is what sells this figure the figure doesn't sell itself at all to be honest um, I'm just gonna grab I mean if you had all the the Friday the 13th from the Nightmare on Elm Street 
and the um, Robocop and the Predator, that looked pretty cool on the shelf. Ain't, I'm not denying that one bit at all. So, you know, if you're a Nintendo fan or, you know, just a retro gamer fan, pretty cool in that sense that they, they look, they do look cool. I'm not denying that all one bit. Okay, so let's get rid of the packaging and have a look at the figure itself. Um, as with all the other Freddy figures, it's just a repaint of the part two, which is this one here. Um, the part two Freddy, you can see the face is exactly the same. Um, obviously the body's exactly the same. So there's nothing, nothing new there in terms of the face sculpt or body sculpt or anything to be honest. Just grab. So this is the, oh, it's, it's the alternate head on this Freddy. Um, but more so, I just want to show you the glove as well. It's it's the it's the part one glove or part two glove, so it's not the bladed hand. Although it just looks like it. Um, there's nothing. There's nothing going on there new. <laughs> you know, it's exactly the same mould, skirt, you know, everything. Just obviously this is the glove version. But it, and I just want to mainly put this, this Freddy here. Just so you can see the comparison of the hideous colour this is. And I know it was the colour of the game. It was a bright orange and a dull browny grey orange. Um, and he was very pink. Freddy, but <laughs> um, I know. Okay, okay. Retro games—they didn't have all the colour scope we have now. Um, his hat looks out of place by being brown. And and the, and the thing I don't—the thing I don't get—is that the Jason we had, okay, looks very basic and plain and smooth, you know, and all that. Um, Okay, there's the detail in his clothing and all that, but this this Freddy is just too detailed. It, it it does just look this you could get away with by saying it it you know it's just a retro game figure. This looks like this has got too much detail. It's too much effort has been put into this just to be you know slapped in like three colours. Mm. I don't know. I don't know, I'm just I'm just getting grumpy in my old age, I think. I just I just don't like this. He's got his brown boots and brown hat. The face looks okay, but his eyes have all been coloured in one colour. The teeth are basically highlighted in the same colour that his eyes are. A little pack of paint in his ear. It just does nothing. And it looks absolutely horrible in your Freddy figure collection as well. Um so this guy, to be honest, is going back in the box and he's not going to sit on the shelf with my other Freddy stuff, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, you know, in the same articulation as the others, a little bit of movement in the foot, the hands, elbow, swivel, shoulder, rotation in the waist and the head. Um, nothing in the legs like all the other figures. Um, and that's it really, you can get this quite easily, pretty cheap as well. Well I say pretty cheap, you you know, you wanna be spending you're gonna be spending twenty, twenty five pound, which is which is um nothing compared to what you pay for the Jason at the moment to be honest. Jason's still you know, quite a collector's piece to be honest in terms of getting hold of it. Um But you know, if I was only to get the one I'm I gotta be honest with you, I'm more of a Jason fan than I am a Freddy. Not really too keen on either of them. Um, I hope that the Predator one, you know, does do something. You know, it does seem that with the Robocop and the Predator one, they've they've gone for a bit of highlighting and shading and that within the paint scheme. Probably would have got away with a little bit more. Probably, sorry, in my opinion, you probably would have got away with the Freddy a little bit more if it had a little bit of colour shading on it somewhere, but. They just don't do it for me, and, and they and they look absolutely hideous in your in your collection, to be honest. But that's just me. Um, but anyway, as always, guys, I really appreciate you watching. 
appreciate you subscribing, appreciate your comments. You know, I'll always get back to you as quickly as I can and as honestly as I can. Um, and I do appreciate your comments as well. If people do like them, they like them. Totally up to you. I've not got a problem with that. It's not like, you know, I'm totally dissing it. I, I understand why Necker are doing it. Um, just not for me. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. You take care and I'll catch you soon. Bye bye.